Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Sophie and I do videos about weight loss, infertility, and lifestyle vlogs. If any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe. I post videos every four days. Today's video is technically a lifestyle vlog, but I've decided to just sit down and do it more sit down style. These are my New Year's resolutions. I'll be honest, I don't usually do these, but this year I was like, hmm. <laughs> We're coming down from 2020. It was a tough year. I think it was a tough year for everybody in different ways. And I just wanna go into 2021 with a clear, healthy mindset. And I want to set myself some goals. Number one is to start our family. When it comes to infertility, you don't know when you're gonna be able to start your family, but we are heading into procedures like IUI and IVF in 2021. So one of my biggest goals is to start our family. I'm crossing my fingers, I hope it works out, but it's been a goal that I've had on my list for a couple of years now. And hopefully 2021 is the year that we can get that started. I really want to focus on my mental health and well-being. I've never really had a resolution where I focus on my mental health. I think it's something that is incredibly important and a lot of people put to the side, just like I have in the past. And so I'm starting this new journey of weight loss and thinking about life in a different way, in a healthier way. And one of those things is my well-being and my mental health. So that's one of my biggest goals. To do that, there are a few things that I really want to get started. One of them is journaling. I really want to start journaling every day. I also want to keep reading. So in 2020, I actually read a few books. By a few, I mean a lot in my standards. I had stopped reading for fun when I was in university because they had us read so much for classes that I just kind of fell out of love with it. But when I was in high school, I was a book nerd. I loved reading, oh my goodness. And in 2020, I kind of found that love again. By the end of 2020, it kind of like went downhill a little bit, but I really want to keep my focus on reading this year. So those are just a couple of things that I'm going to be doing to focus on my mental health. I really want to be physically active, but I also want to listen to my body. I've never been someone who listens to her body. I just do what the hell I want. Who cares about my body, right? But this year in 2021, I really want to focus on exercising and fueling my body and doing what my body wants me to do with it. So that's probably exercising. So I really want to focus on exercising this year. Right now, I am following a calorie deficit just to kickstart my weight loss, my health. I just had to find a way to stop eating takeout every day and calorie deficit was kind of how I started that. But in 2021, my plan is to switch from calorie deficit to intuitive eating, which I think is the healthiest way to live. And it's a huge goal of mine. So I hope by the end of 2021, I can sit here and tell you guys, I'm now following intuitive eating. Number five, I want to be the best sister, aunt, daughter, wife that I can be and dog mom <laughs> because Although I love my family and I'm so, so grateful for them and I love seeing them and spending time with them, I just want to do little things and gestures throughout the year to make sure that they know how much I fully appreciate them. Be it that I spend extra time with my mom one Saturday or I send a little note or a nice picture or want to take a nice picture with them or whatever it is i want them to know how much i love them and it's a huge focus of mine this is something that i started in 2020 we've been doing really well but in 2021 i want to be fully financially responsible we've worked on this in 2020 so much the year started out really stressful we didn't know how we were going to handle our finances in 2020, we started out in a really rough position and we've really gotten a handle on things since then. But in 2021, I really want to be able to say that I have a healthy savings account and a healthy spendings if I need spending money. And I want to be able to pay for IVF, which is $15,000. So I really wanna make sure that we're financially being responsible and thinking about every purchase that we're making and we're just not spending money willy-nilly 
and it's a huge goal of mine. I really want to be consistent on YouTube in 2021. In 2020, I decided to start this channel and I just didn't think that I would love it as much as I do. I truly love this channel. I just think that it's the funnest thing in the world. Like I really enjoy making videos. I don't even mind the editing, which in the past I hated. I just really enjoy talking to you guys and we're slowly creating a community here. We've we have new subscribers and new viewers and I've just been loving all the comments and just there's something really special about YouTube and I really want to grow in 2021. I want like I said to be consistent but also to grow but never forget where I started and I want to make sure that throughout the growth because I hope there's growth that I don't forget how much I love it and why I love it. And the reason I love it so much is because of you guys and your nice comments and the feedback that I get and the way that we can share things. And I just want YouTube to go really well in 2021. I don't want to stop. I have no intentions of stopping, but I just want to make sure that I continue on this journey that I've been really, really loving because that's really good for my mental health. So it kind of ties in with my second goal, which is to focus on my mental health. YouTube is really helping me out with that right now. And that might change if my channel grows really rapidly or I get some growth and I start getting like negative comments. But for right now, YouTube is really helping me be happy. And that's a really great thing. So those are my New Year's resolutions this year. Please let me know in the comments what yours are. Maybe you have some similar ones or completely different. I'd love to hear them. I will be sure to answer your comments. If you like this video, please also like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.